So if you have 12 tribes of Israel, then you have 12 nations that match those tribes. And that's where Joe Smith and Moroni and the Seventh-day Adventists all conked out, trying to make Ephraim England and making Dan England and God knows what. And that's an attempt to do something that's so, but they haven't got the thing right. You say, well, who's got it right? I don't know if anybody got it right. But as sure as you live and breathe, there are 12 nations that match those 12 tribes. As sure as you live and breathe. And some of them, you're bound, the United States, England, uh, Spain, France, and Germany have to be five of them because they're the ones that make the history. Now, where, whether China, Japan, or Russia figures in there, I don't know, but I know there are 12 tribes and they've got to match the nations because he set the bound of the people according to the nations, according to the number of the children of Israel. Or now you know this, there are 12 gates in that city, so you go through a gate, but you know, uh, you know what's on the, na on the gates, the name of the 12 tribes. So Germany must go into Benjamin, and England goes into Dan, and the USA goes into someplace else, and if Manasseh somewhere in there, see, but old Joe Smith and Moroni, Moron the Angel and that bunch, they never got to figure it out right. You say, who's got to figure it out right? I don't know what anybody got to figure it out right. But in Genesis 49, Jacob prophesies on those 12 tribes. And the prophecy he makes has to match those Gentile nations. Let me show you how far that thing goes. There are 12 apostles. And the apostles are on the foundation of that city. So they match. There just happens to be, by pure accident, 12 constellations. And just by an, an amazing quinky dinky, there happen to be 12 colors. There are seven basic colors, but there are five intermediates. Those things are yellow green, and green blue, and orange red, and reddish purple, and bluish purple. There are 12 of them. But that ain't the worst of it. There are 12 musical notes in that piano. There are only seven whole ones, but then black keys are five half notes, and seven, and five, and twelve. <laughs> so when you begin to look for stuff, what you look for is this. If a thing is complete, it's a three in material. If it's complete in time, it's a seven. And if it's complete in structure and composition, it's twelve. And the, those, those rules are mathematical rules the Holy Spirit established. <laughs> You can't do anything with them. They're just absolutely fixed. Now, if that weren't enough, there are 12 trees in there, and each tree has a different fruit. <laughs> You've guessed it for a different month. And tell me how many hours there are in a day, and you really have it down good. Now, you know what that means? And nobody's ever got this thing figured out. I mean, that note right there is a color and matches a color, and matches a tribe, and matches a nation, and matches a constellation, and matches a month, and matches a fruit. 